Honey is a sweet golden liquid that not only makes your life sweeter, but also helps and feeds your body with every drop full of nutrients. In this video, we'll show you a special way of collecting a lot of honey the old-fashioned way. Stay right there, because the bees that make this honey don't like to be disturbed. Bees begin their life journey as tiny eggs, each meticulously laid by the queen bee within the protective hexagonal wax cells of the hive. These cells serve as secure nurseries for the eggs, which hatch into larvae resembling small white worms. The larvae feed on the rich, nutritious food provided by worker bees, and over time, these larvae mature within their wax chambers, developing through several stages. As they grow, these larvae undergo a transformation process known as metamorphosis, during which they evolve into pupae. Inside these pupal cases, the remarkable transformation continues until they emerge as fully formed adult bees, ready to take on their roles within the hive's complex social structure. Each bee, whether whether a worker, a drone, or a future queen, has specific duties that contribute to the survival of their colony. The worker bees, which are female and perform the majority of tasks, begin their foraging phase by flying from flower to flower collecting nectar. They possess a unique anatomical feature, a specialized tongue called a proboscis, which they use to extract nectar from blossoms. This nectar is stored in a separate part of their stomach specifically adapted for honey production. Once they return to the hive, the nectar is regurgitated and passed between bees, a process that enhances the nectar's breakdown and evaporation of water content, gradually transforming it into thick, sweet honey. The significance of honey extends beyond its role as a food source. It is a vital resource for the hive, especially during harsh conditions like winter or rainy seasons when foraging opportunities are scarce. Honey provides essential energy for adult bees and is a key nutritional component for the developing larvae. Worker bees tirelessly collect nectar and produce honey to ensure the hive is well stocked to support their colony's survival and the nurturing of new generations. This cycle of life, from egg to adult bee, underscores the intricate and interconnected roles within the bee colony, showcasing the remarkable efficiency and dedication of these incredible insects. Let's move on to the next step. Harvesting honey starts with getting dressed in a beekeeper suit, complete with a helmet and gloves. This gear keeps you safe from bee stings. Beekeepers use smoke to calm the bees down. This makes it easier to work with the hives because the bees become less likely to sting. Calming the bees respects their hard work and keeps the process smooth. A tool called a hive tool is crucial. It helps beekeepers separate the frames where the bees store honey. Another tool, the bee brush is used gently to move bees away from the frames without hurting them. One by one, each frame is carefully brushed to ensure bees are safely moved aside. After clearing the bees, the honey-filled frames are carefully placed into special boxes. These boxes are then neatly arranged and ready to be taken to the factory. At the factory, the first step is to remove the top layer of wax from the frames. This layer covers the honeycomb cells filled with honey. It's amazing to see how skilled and careful beekeepers are during this process. I admire the beekeepers, especially those who bravely work without wearing protective gear, though I would never recommend skipping the suit. Once at the factory, the honey frames go through a process where they remove the wax cap that bees use to seal the honey inside the comb. This reveals the raw honey, which is ready for the next steps of extraction and processing. This natural and magical product has unique benefits that can transform your health and diet. When we process honey, it starts with setting up the honeycombs in a machine. This machine is pretty clever. It gently removes the top layer of wax from both sides of the honeycombs. This layer is what the bees use to seal the honey inside, keeping it clean and pure. Removing this layer lets us get to the honey, which isn't easy because bees are very creative in how they build and seal their combs. As the machine works on the combs, some honey starts to seep out but most of it is still inside the combs. The next step is to place each honeycomb tray into a larger machine. This is where the magic happens. This machine, called a spinner, spins the honeycombs really fast. This spinning action forces the honey out of the combs by centrifugal force. The honey is flung from the combs into a collection area. This spinning process is crucial. Not only does it help get every last drop of honey out, but it also cleans the combs thoroughly. This means the combs can be reused, which is great for the bees and for beekeepers. Once the honey is collected, it's churned slightly to mix it evenly and then passed through fine sieves. 
This helps remove any remaining impurities, leaving us with smooth golden honey. Finally, the clean honeycombs are collected and prepared for their next use. The extracted honey is stored in large tanks where the temperature is controlled to keep the honey fluid. This makes it easier to handle and package later. Watching this process is fascinating because it shows just how much work goes into making the delicious honey we enjoy. It's a never-ending cycle of care, precision, and respect for nature's sweet gift. The process of bottling honey begins with an automated filling machine. Jars are placed on a conveyor belt, which moves them through the machine. Each jar lines up under a filling nozzle. These nozzles are designed carefully to release just the right amount of honey into each jar, making sure there is no spillage or waste. The process of packaging honey begins with an advanced automated filling machine. Jars are placed on a conveyor belt that moves them forward smoothly. Each jar is precisely aligned under a filling nozzle. These nozzles are specially designed to release the exact amount of honey needed in each jar, which helps prevent any honey from spilling or being wasted. This careful design ensures that every jar gets just the right amount of honey, making the process efficient and clean. Once the jars are filled, they move along the conveyor to the sealing station. Here, automated arms are equipped with lids that they place securely onto each jar. This part of the process runs very smoothly, thanks to the sophisticated automation that not only speeds up the work, but also helps reduce the physical strain on the workers. These technological advancements have significantly aided the labor community, making their jobs easier and more efficient. Eating a spoonful of honey before meals can be beneficial. Honey contains enzymes and antioxidants that can soothe the stomach and aid digestion. So, having a little honey can not only sweeten your day, but also help keep you healthy. The journey the journey through the honey processing doesn't stop there. The factory also produces honey spoons. Workers select the best quality honey, known for its exceptional flavor, to fill these spoons. Instead of ordinary spoons, they mold the honey into charming shapes using plastic or silicone. Each honey spoon is then tightly sealed in fancy film or foil, resembling a small gift. These honey spoons are designed so you can easily open and use them without making any mess. The honey spoons are carefully packed in boxes or trays to ensure they stay safe and intact during transport. This packaging ensures that each honey spoon makes it safely to your kitchen, ready to be enjoyed. Honey spoons offer a convenient and delightful way to add a touch of sweetness to your meals or snacks. In addition to honey, the factory might explore other sweet products like liquid jam and biscuits, which make a tasty combination. The sweetness of the jam deepens the flavor of the biscuits, creating a rich, caramel-like taste that complements their crunchiness perfectly. For those who crave something sweet and savory after enjoying honey, the factory also prepares delicious sandwiches and donut cakes. These are perfect for kicking off your morning with coffee or tea, adding a sweet touch to your breakfast. They are also ideal for satisfying sweet cravings at any time. Whether it's cream-topped sponge cakes or chocolate-dipped delights, the factory ensures there's something for everyone's sweet tooth, proving that the love for well-made sweets is universal. We hope you enjoyed this sweet journey inside the world of honey production. If you found this video informative and delightful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more fascinating fascinating insights, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching.